How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're looking at another medical school resource, Boards and Beyond. So what is Boards and Beyond? It is a video lecture series by Dr. Jason Ryan from the United States who's a cardiologist and essentially students use it to prepare for the USMLE exam. It has 400 plus videos and 2,300 plus USMLE style questions and I've been loving it so far in my medical school journey. Essentially, to me, Boards and Beyond fixes a real important problem. When you look at Pathoma, First Aid and Sketchy, what's missing is the, the normal physiology aspect of it is just not there. Pathoma covers the pathology really well, Sketchy covers the microbiology really well, and Boards and Beyond comes in and covers the anatomy, physiology, the pharmacology really, really well. So if you use all, all those three resources I just mentioned, along with the First Aid book, I think that's the ultimate uh, go-to tools for you to really ace medical school without any stress. Let's talk about why it works. Essentially, Boards and Beyond is really good because it goes at a really good pace so you're not feeling bored and at the same time it's not going too quick so that you have no idea what's happening. And Dr. Jason Ryan does this really well. It covers the basics starting from the biochemistry, molecular biology, all the way through to your major body systems as the cardiology, renal, gastro, everything. It covers all the physiology really well and also the pathology. I personally prefer Pathoma over Boards and Beyond for pathology, um, but each to their own. If you like how Dr. Jason Ryan's teaching, then you know you might as well watch all the Boards and Beyond videos as well as the pathology videos from Pathoma. So essentially, this is how I use Boards and Beyond. Say we're in the cardiology block, I would watch the videos from Boards and Beyond, and then I would look at the corresponding pages in First Aid to uh, revise what I learned from the videos. And then finally, I would use Anki to look at the cards associated with that, those videos. And to me, that's the ideal way. So the first step is a little bit passive listening to videos. Next step is a little bit more active looking at the first eight notes. And the last step is extremely active using your space repetition. This integration with your video watching and first aid is another reason why I really love, love Boards and Beyond. Uh, every video has the page numbers associated with the first aid book for every single year. So depending on uh, whether or not you started using first aid, this could be a really, really good resource. You should definitely be using first aid at the end of the day, whether or not you're sitting the USMLE or not. Obviously, I'm in Australia, so we don't have to sit the USMLE, but I think every single medical student should be using these resources anyway, because on top of your uni lectures, these are people who know, really know how to teach. And if you are unsure what to do outside of classes, this is probably the best use of your time. Let's look at some of the negatives for Boards and Beyond. One, it's only one person teaching, so Dr. Jason Ryan is the only one teaching, and sometimes it can be quite monotonous and the slides can be quite heavy as well. So depending on whether you like his teaching style or not will be a pivoting factor whether Boards and Beyond ends up working out for you or not. There are a lot of slides, so if you're not really keen on learning just through slides, um, this, this might not be the best resource. My recommendation would be to check out their free trial videos and then seeing if you like how they're teaching. To me, it's I think because the cost isn't a lot and it's quite student friendly, I think it's worth getting the subscription anyway and then watching some of the videos, if not all, if you really don't like how the teaching's going. I personally can sit through uh, a couple of videos at a time without, without any trouble. Uh, let me go back and touch on how you should use uh, Boards and Beyond. I said you obviously watch the videos. Whether or not you should take notes, everyone recommends taking some notes, you can. I personally am not a big fan of taking notes. I would say even if you do take notes, keep it to a minimum level. Um, there's an option to take notes on Boards and Beyond itself on the platform. So whether or not you like that, it's completely up to you and I think you should try it out at least. Personally, to me, the notes were the first aid book where they already summarized everything. So I thought it would be a bit of a mindless and pointless exercise for me to write my own notes when First Aid already had really good uh, compressed notes on the videos already. So watch the videos, take minimal notes, and then do the quizzes associated with each video. I thought the quizzes were really good. And then finally, of course, you really need to integrate Boards and Beyond with Anki. Um, so essentially, if you download the Anki deck, if you go and browse and then go on the tags, you can see BNB as one of the tags, Boards and Beyond as one of the tags. And then once you open that toggle, you can see all the different videos. So you can really activate the cards from a specific video you've just watched. And it also saves you time. You don't even have to make your own cards. Um, these people have really made, made med school so much easy to get through. 
So if, if you hate making cards, if you hate taking notes, I think this is the best workflow. Watch the videos, do the quiz, integrate with Anki and just do the questions and hopefully you'll never really forget the things they've taught you. Let's talk a bit about the pricing for Boards and Beyond. What it does well is it is quite student friendly. It is a bit more expensive than Pathoma, but you've got options from one month costing you $49 up to 24 months for $299. Uh, whether it's worth it or not, I think I personally think it's worth it, but I would recommend you watching the free sample videos before committing to this. To me, I do a comparison between what is taught in medical school and what is taught by these guys. Um, and to me, like these guys are really good teachers and the quality of teaching that you're getting is, is worth the money, especially compared to like how much you're probably paying for medical school compared to this, it's a small fraction of it. Um, so if you can't afford it, I think you should go for it. Um, if these ranges are out of your budget, maybe try emailing them. I'm sure they will do something for you. That's the video guys. Hopefully you found this review helpful. If you did, subscribe to the channel for more medical school content. Uh, follow me on Instagram to get updates about how life is going for me. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.